morning, YouTube. This is Outdoors with Larry and Robin. We um, had a great time at Joe's. Really enjoyed it. Nice meeting everybody. Meeting people I didn't know. I hope I didn't miss anybody. But here's what we've got going today. These rounds, uh, we're going to split them up with the um, new upside down wood splitter. Um, she's going to be throwing it in the bucket. Take it, put it in there. So we'll teamwork here today. And we're going to put them in that wood bucket, uh, scoop them up, put them into there. She's going to help load them more than whatever I scoop. Not sure exactly here yet. This is a day, this is Monday. We still show them the water. We still have a wet ground here. So, Bobcat, the Kubota, the teamwork. Outdoors with Larry and Rob. Let's get it done.
Well, it's like 40 degrees here in the Shandor Valley, and it's starting to rain again. So, he's going to try to patch this mud up with the tractor, and then I'm going back inside. My hands are cold. Actually, you know, it's just nasty out. He doesn't want to haul any more buckets into the building, but he's because he's dragging mud in. So we're gonna leave this out, let this dry before we carry any more in. take any more buckets in because we were dragging mud in. What? I told him we weren't going to take any more buckets in because we were dragging mud in. Right. Yeah, we got carpenter ants in the one. I don't want to put the carpenter ants in there. It's starting to rain again. Just bucket up. So that's it for today. Toodles, everyone. Well, we gave up on splitting because it started raining and it was cold. What's the current temperature? 50 degrees. It's 50 degrees. So it was in the 40s when we were splitting. And we have decided to make a trip down to Fairfax to Gainesville. Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop down there. And we're going to get some line and maybe I'm going to get a rod, I know. Um, and who knows, maybe lunch. It's like quarter of two. <laughs> we're going to need some lunch. Yes. So we'll keep you along for the ride. Buddy's with us too. Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter wherever you go in the valley. It's beautiful. Yes, uh, we are heading 166, crossing the Shenandoah River, headed uh, east. Oh, the river is a little up. Probably all this rain we've gotten from Ohio. And we'll show you the mountain as we get a little, a little closer to crossing. We're at mile marker seven. This road, 66, starts on our, just about on our property, you know, mile marker one. And it goes all the way into DC. business. 
amazing that they would pay us to come all the way from back here. They would spend uh, four hours, four and a half hours on the road of an eight hour day. And they would pay the travel time and to get the quality of work. They would pay us to drive that far. It made it hard on me trying to supervise jobs that far away. Nice to be retired. We don't have that kind of pressures. This is about mile marker 13, uh, Linden. This is as, about as far out as Larry and I will deliver. You can see we go up this mountain some. Yeah, we saw a good bit I of wood. I think that's uh, like Apple Mountain, Blue Mountain. We saw a good bit of wood out there. Falkir County, and then it's only in Falkir County a short bit of time, I'll show you it. Then it goes into Prince William, and from there it goes into Fairfax. This is Sky Meadows State Park entrance in Warrington, which is uh, Route 17 in Falkir County. Della Plaine and Paris. My dad always told people he was born in Paris. They just didn't understand it was Paris, Virginia. You have terrible, terrible cell service in this area because the landowners are big, rich people. And they will not allow them to put a cell tower in. They won't give up the land. They won't sell the land. And it flattens out here in, that's a Prince William County police officer. It flattens out before you get to the next mountain. We're headed to Gainesville, which is 11 miles. That one, where did they say the DC was? 32? So DC is probably, you know, about 65 miles from where we live. People ask us where we live and you have to, they don't know where Winchester is and you have to kind of say, well, we are 65 miles west of DC. And they just know the term DC, so then they think they know where you live. We were blocking it when we worked in Arlington. And it was right on the limits of DC. And it was 78. 80 miles uh, because we couldn't get right dead on a certain time of day after the, to go around back roads. Well, you must have been coming from Winchester, not from our house. Because our house wouldn't be 78. Maybe. As you can see, we have crossed the next little mountain. There won't be another one. We're entering, going to be entering Prince William County very soon. There's a post office down there. That's Broad Run. Here's a sign saying you're going into Prince William. Leaving Falk here, and this is Broad Run, which is a water tributary. Broad Run also has a high school down here. Uh, and you also, when I went to Clark County, we played all the schools down here because uh, the schools our size were too far away for us to take a bus to. So we played George Mason, Parkview, she was Broad a tennis Run. Queen. <laughs> yeah, I played tennis and I played on the boys' team because there were not enough girls to have a girls' team. So there were three of us and we played on the boys team. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous as all get out. <laughs> all in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I played a young man down here in, in Parkview and beat him and he quit school the next day. Coach, who was a friend of mine down there, called me up and asked me if I would apologize to him for beating him. And 
and I was like, nope. All right. I just saw the HOV sign. It used to be HOV 2, which I thought that made Larry and I in good shape coming home. But now they've changed it to HOV 3, and I don't think Buddy counts. So we might end up in rush hour trying to get home in bumper to bumper traffic. At this point, I, this is hay market. I am going to have to help Larry, direct Larry in, so I'm not going to be able to record anything until we get to sporting goods. We've decided to stop at this pizza in Pizza New York right here. <laughs> I got that one, and Larry got the spicy chicken parmesan. Between Larry and Buddy, there isn't much left of his stuff. No, not much. We're going to get fishing equipment. We're headed back home after a successful shopping spree. Yep, we got her a nice Shakespeare rod with an ugly stick, six foot six, medium action, open the reel. Uh, we got a game cam. We got a game cam for the uh, firewood stand. Yep. And we got a. Uh, we got cups. We got one of those. Yeah. Yeti. I think, I don't know if they're Yeti or not. Nice cups. Yep. And we got lime. We got lime. We got six cups. 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 And now we're taking 55 West back home because it's a much better drive than 66. It so goes through a bunch of lovely little towns. And uh, right now we're going through Haymarket, which of course they have ruined by putting in a bunch of whole bunch of... Well, they didn't ruin them. I shouldn't say that. They made, a lot less trees than they Yeah. But anyway, we are done for the day. We are going to go home and... Um, relax because we're now in rush hour thank you all for watching thank you for anyone who has taken the time to subscribe to our channel and if you haven't hey you know as long as you're watching I, we don't it doesn't matter one way or another if you subscribe we'd love for you to yeah. but hey if you don't you don't that's okay and welcome all new subscribers yep and welcome to all the new subscribers and we hope to see you again toodles toodles